today's video is a bit of an overview on this ambulance build and also answering some of the questions that you guys have had along the way and a bit of an update on the high school drafting class that's been working on the interior. <laughs> we'll, we'll touch on that, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I bought this thing for $15,000. It had a 4x4 conversion in it and was the coolest ambulance I had ever seen. And I had to have it. I originally thought I bought this thing as a project for the channel and I was probably going to sell it. But as I started to kind of visualize the whole end product of this ambulance, I've decided to build this into my next home. And I had to learn a lot of new skills in order to build this thing. There are some things I can do and some things I can't do. The stuff I can't do, I will source out, like the mechanical work. We have Lauren at the shop currently working on the ambulance. But I had to learn how to weld because I have some rust on the front cab of this thing. The floors needed to be redone. And instead of sourcing this out, I have a full shop. I bought a welder, so why not learn on my own? So that is exactly what we did. Lauren is here. We had the chance to pull out that big 7.3 liter diesel and give it a bit of a refresh. It got upgraded injectors, a bunch of upgraded parts, but that thing was a nasty, dirty, gross mess. When we pulled it out, I got overwhelmed instantly. And thankfully I had Lauren here because he stayed calm the whole time. He's a bit of a 7.3 liter diesel expert. So everything to him was, well, just like he just knew this engine like the palm of his hand and it made me feel really good about taking on a project this big because this thing is massive but when I seen that big gross and dirty rusty old engine I was like what am I getting myself into so we started to clean this thing while he was disassembling I was cleaning we got this engine on the engine stand and this is where this ambulance project just went to the next level. I decided that's it. I want to make this thing the coolest overland rig on the planet. So I cleaned up that engine and we painted it lime green. This is where the whole build project just evolved. We turned this thing into the beast. And this is a little taste of what's to come on this entire ambulance build. Take a look at that engine. That's the start of this whole project. You wait till you see that image that I have in my brain put into real life right there on that giant overland ambulance. We did sound deadening on the doghouse and on the floor and some upcoming projects we have we're doing some sound deadening on the doors. But wow, man, we even added a Hydra chip, which is a performance chip that is coming up in the next video. Oh, man, I'm glad you guys are with me because this is going to be one wild ride. Now let's get into some Q&A questions of some awesome things that you guys have asked me over the last little while. But before we get into those, today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is an online VPN service that encrypts everything that you do when you're online. And if you're a nomad like me and logging on via public Wi-Fi all the time, protecting your computer and all your private stuff is super, super important. In 2023, VPNs, I think, are just a mandatory thing people need. So if you don't know what that is, it's a virtual private network, meaning when you log in using a VPN, you go through their system first and they encrypt it and send your information out there so nobody can hack back in. Plus, you can spoof the internet. So if you've ever tried to press play on a video somewhere and it says, warning, you can't watch this in your area, <laughs> you log in through a VPN, now it thinks you're in another country, you can see all the videos you want. They're offering you guys 83% off and three months free if you use my promo code down below. Okay, let's dive into these questions. And a lot of people have been asking about this. How are the students coming along with the interior designs? So I had a high school teacher from the USA reach out to me a little while ago and say, like, Hey Chrome, I really love your channel. I have a drafting class and I would love to unleash these kids on designing the interior of the ambulance. And of course, right away I said yes. So I have a full update on them coming soon as they have the final products available. But this is just a little update for now. A shelf that like also becomes a desk. 
So it's a shelf that folds in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and becomes a desk. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So here I've got a few sketches for my bed frame, and then I drew it in CAD uh, up here. I have this is going to go into the back of the van. I got two drawers on either side. The drawers I haven't finished it yet, but I'm going to put a drawer there and a table that's going to pull up from there. Okay, and it's open underneath. Mm -hmm. That's where you're going to put the benches. Yep. Okay. Right here we have just an overall sketch just to get an idea of where everything is. And then we have an ex here we have an exterior wall. And I'm gonna design the outside kitchen, way to get into the kitchen from the outside. Okay. And then up here I'm just designing the wall cabinets for up top. Okay. And then I'm also working on the van shell so I can start putting stuff in. Okay. So these are your um, drawers? Yeah, these are some drawers that I'm going to put on the wall next to the door. Is this is how you're laying it out? Yeah, I'm just sketching it right now. Okay. This is definitely something that deserves some dramatic music because having this experience feels like that to me. That and, well, the music part is my favorite part of editing videos to add that, that little mood to it to set the tone. Anyway, uh, the drafting class, they're done. They're finished with the project. I'm just waiting for the teacher to send me all the finals so I can share that with you guys. But an incredible experience and a super creative crew of kids. They were so awesome. I had some live video calls back and forth with them, which I didn't show because I would have had to blur out all of their faces. And uh, that's just a huge edit. But, um, but yeah, it was great. We I ran the camera in the ambulance and we asked questions and did some measurements and stuff. But I'm really 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 excited to see the final product and as soon as I see that you guys will be updated right away so let's dive into some of the questions people had here looking good says dude your poly coat on your main van worked out great why don't I just do it with the ambulance in the color that I want to do so doing that hot polyurethane coating that's on mine, which I got it done at Tyro Coatings in Calgary, um, other companies out there that do it, the main ones you guys hear about is Linex, because it is very, very expensive. And that ambulance project, I have to really be financial, I have to be conscious on the money that I spend on it, because that poly coat, there's 15,000 bucks or 12,000 bucks right there. I, I there's no <laughs> no when I can take it to a paint booth somewhere and probably paint it myself for two grand so if you look at it that way two grand twelve grand I think that's a bit of a no-brainer unless Linex or Tyro Coatings wants to spark a deal I don't know why I did that <laughs> hit me up now we're talking otherwise we're doing this thing uh, DIY from front to back as much as I can and that's the exciting part about having a shop is now I can learn new skills and take on some of these huge upgrades on my own the problem with painting the ambulance myself is to find a paint booth big enough for it so if you guys know of a paint booth company that rents a paint booth that's at least 12 feet in height I would love to know and I'm willing to even move across to another province so maybe if you know somewhere in Alberta I'm okay with that too take that ambo out for a big drive to Alberta some of that get her painted unless you know somewhere in this province of BC that rents big paint booths I'm a hundred percent in but yeah the poly coating is just extremely expensive mr. make it I love that name by the way are you going to add a wall and interior door between the cab and the living area that I'm not sure of. I like that idea, but I also don't like that idea. It's nice to keep that space wide open. Because if you put a wall there, you know, it, 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 it has its benefits. So, I mean, for some people building, they like the security of just shutting that door out. But in some ways, I like the openness because it just makes the home feel bigger. So, I have curtains in my current van right up front there and I don't mind them at all they're cool I want to shut them fine but I think on the ambulance I'll probably end up doing like a window covering system like one of those like quilted window coverings for the two side doors in the front window that way when I'm in the van I can swivel a seat and now it creates more seating in my home without having a wall in the way so I don't know right now I'm gonna say no I'm not sure though. 
I haven't thought about the interior myself yet. The high school students, they were thinking about it. Right now, I'm just focused on the exterior. Uh, Next question, are you moving into the ambulance when it's done? Yes, I will be, 100% for sure. But that's not going to be, that that's, project is a few years in the making but when the time comes you darn rights that'll be my next home okay on the note of tires i know recently you heard me say that we're shifting the suspension around a little bit doing a bit of suspension upgrades that's coming up in one of the next two projects on it i had mentioned that moving the suspension forward would allow us to run up to a 40 inch tire I am not putting a 40-inch tire on that thing. That is way too big. Um, I'm probably going to go with a 35-inch tire or a 37-inch tire. I'm going to go down to a tire shop somewhere, see if they have those tires in stock, and just kind of hold them up to the side of it as a mock-up. I don't want to go too small on the tire. I know smaller tires have benefit for gas mileage and stuff like that. But we are doing a full suspension upgrade. We're upgrading a ton of stuff underneath there. So if I wanted to run a 40-inch tire, everything will be upgraded parts-wise that it's safe and strong enough to run a 40-inch tire. But I'm probably not going to go that big. That's that's giant 37 seems about right for me but i'll throw a few tires up against the side of it we'll do a little bit of a mock-up and um we'll see what i think after that big old caddy says do a spray bed liner on the frame to prevent rust so um there is a downside to putting a bed liner as an undercoating of the vehicle or on the frame is that if you do chip it water can get in behind that bed liner and sit there completely sit there and rot without you seeing it so putting a bed liner as an undercoating to me is something i will not do to have that risk of banging a rock one day and all of a sudden water getting wedged in there and rusting without me seeing it until it's a big problem not going to be doing that this one's a good question because this subject came up between me and lauren uh just the other day what size fuel tank does the ambulance have I don't know, (laughs) but we are adding an extra fuel tank. So in Lauren, Lauren has a a jacked up 4x4 ambulance himself. He has an additional fuel tank in his ambulance that allows him to drive for, I think he said like 12 or 1300 kilometers or 1400 kilometers before he needs gas. I want that. I want that in the ambulance. So Lauren took all the measurements the other day, and I think that's something we're definitely going to be doing is adding a secondary fuel tank because having the chance to be off grid for that long is so appealing for me because I know in my van, once I'm out here and I get to like below half a tank, I get worried about driving out any farther. And it doesn't take long out here in the backcountry driving over dirt and and soft stuff out here that you deplete your gas tank quite fast. And then you got to go back to town or drag a couple more jerry cans with you. But even those couple more jerry cans doesn't get you that much farther out. Maybe get you back safely. But so, yeah, on the Ambo, I think Lauren, I can't remember what the what Lauren said. There's a lot. We'll, we'll probably cover this in detail once we do the ex- external gas tank, but we're probably going to be doubling the fuel capacity of that Ambo. Think about that. Driving 1,400 kilometers before you need gas? <laughs> yes, please. I don't even... My van might get, might get 400 kilometers per tank. That's, that's insane. That'd be like tripling my current... Awesome. Okay, another one, don't forget to insulate the doghouse of over your motor. I already did that. The clip was at the beginning of this video. This I see a lot. So sometimes in my shop, you guys will see a video without Mr. Cruz. And the person asked, did an entire video without Cruz in it? Very next question. <laughs> Where was Cruz? This is in the same video. Those two showed up in my feed back to back. <laughs> People miss Cruz when he's not in videos, but sometimes at the shop, he does good with running around and doing his thing in there, but when he's done with the noise, he wants to go home. He always goes back to my van and barks at it and goes just straight inside. So sometimes at the shop when I'm filming videos and we're being noisy, Mr. Cruzy is home sweet home right here in my van having a great night nap. 
And that's a wrap for the questions on the ambulance. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little overview and the update on the high school kids. Uh, just super cool. Anyway, guys, I got to show you guys Cruzy. <laughs> I don't know if they've seen you there or not. Mr. Sleepy. Uh, anyway guys thanks for watching and in the next series of videos we start the ambulance turn the key we fired up that beast ah oh, so tomorrow's video is installing the hydro chip man there's some really great stuff packed in the next few videos so please come back for that thanks for watching you guys see you on the next one yeah that's cool hopefully this video turns out okay